floor. And spread your toes out, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, crown to your ceiling. Get that core a little activated, but be gentle with those hip flexors if you need to. And just relax. And then inhale, arms at shoulder level, stretch those fingertips forward. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front. And then bring your hands behind you, fingertips together, pressing down and lifting your heart. Stretch your spine, nice little upper body back bend. And then pivot on over. Hands up, head down. Move your head around for that neck to release a little bit. Lift your sitting bones for a good stretch on the back of your legs. And then knees bend and chin in. Slowly wind your way up. And come into a little upper body for the back bend. And stretch up through the chest. And then inhale to the top. Release into mountain and just feel your spine getting a little active. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Stretch out at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, other finger outside. Stretch into your upper body back bend and pivot at your hips, exhaling over. Hands up, head down, relax. Chin in, take a few breaths there, lift your sitting bones maybe, and then again, wind your way back up. Keep that chin in as you unwind, and then lift it a little bit toward the ceiling, but not too much, and give yourself a good upper body stretch into the back bend. Toes spreading, and then breathing, come on up, and release into mountain pose. Feel your spine getting activated. And then for our sides, arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders, go ahead and clasp them. And bring your arms next to your ears. Stay facing forward and lean over to the side, only a little bit or more if you love it. Push the foot down and out through your head and hands. Make sure you're not leaning that top shoulder forward. And then inhale back to the center and switch the other hand to the front. Stretch up again and lean over to the other side. Again, keep the top shoulder back. Get that stretch really going through the spine of your body. And then inhale, coming back up and release. Feel the sides more activated through those intracostal muscles. And then stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine apart, and exhale to twist as much or as little as your body wants. Exhale, coming over, and just relax. Take a breath. Now things to release a little more. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Work back up in the twist and into that chest raising upper body back bend. Elbows back, heart forward. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. Stretch again and exhale to the other twist. One more breath in and pivot over and down. So again, deepening as far in your twist or the bend as you want. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then slowly working your way back up, staying in the twist. Heart high, elbows back, shoulders down, upper body back bend. Take a few breaths there, just gently. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up into extended mountain, shoulders down. And then push one side high and come up on the opposite toe. And then down with that side and up on the other, opposite toe. Pressing down, heel lift. And again down, both arms up. And again, extended mountain. And then swan dive forward, hips a little bit back, chest and chin knee. And then drop down all the way to the elbow. 
Pull in for a little extra back stretch. And then arms hanging. Just slide them up and roll all the way back into man pose. Take a moment to feel your heart as open as it wants to be. And then just a little swing side to side, following your hands into that twist. So keep stretching up through the top of your body. Breathe and just gently spread your toes, follow your hands, let that spine get a little bit warmed up more. And maybe go a little further if that's working for your body today. Then back to the center and work your shoulders a little bit more. Arms coming up around and back in that swimming back stroke. And then just release again into the mountain. Take a moment, feeling your upper body. And then just stretch up and pivot forward, exhaling over into red dog. Hands up on your shins and stretch and straighten. Exhale back down and relax. Knees bent, arms hanging, and again just wind your way slowly up and roll your shoulders back and down. Taking a moment, getting back into mountain pose. Bring your hands behind, press them into your back, pull your elbows toward each other, and look up and lift your. To get a nice upper body stretch through that chest. And then chin back toward your chest and move back upright into mountain pose. Just take a moment, feel in that. And then let's stretch up and go on over again, all the way to the rag down. Move your hands around to one side a little twist. So get that side stretch. Exhale back to the center and go to the other side. And again, back to the center. Tuck in your chin, bend your knees. And again, just slowly lined up, shoulders back and down and into mountain pose. Feel your body and get ready for your balance practice. Toes up with that base of the toe connected. Feel down. Toes spreading out, not gripping. Make sure that knee is going toward that second toe. Knee, toe, ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder all line up on your balance leg. Keep reaching the crown to the ceiling. Get that core active, supporting your spine. So bring your ribs toward your spine and up. And then keeping that center of gravity in your hips, just bring your leg up a little or more and toward your Work your ankle, circle it around a few times, straighten it out with a flexing point, and bring that leg back to it. Shift your balance to the other hot side, make sure everything's lined up so that all your bones stack for support, and get those sitting bones down and core activated for support, shoulders relax, ground the ceiling. And then bring that other leg up as far as it wants to go today. And work your ankle on this side. Flex some point. And release your foot down. Take a moment feeling centered and grounded and small. And then bring your hands to your heart. And look at them as you bring them up. Stretch toward the ceiling as much as you can. Thumbs back and into a little back bend with your hips like that too. And then exhale, follow your hands. And again, come all the way down into the end up. Hands slide up on your shins, get your back straight and parallel to the floor. Knees, elbows, and back flat. Chin a little bit toward your chest. Remember, stretch the back of your neck. Exhale back down, leg down. And again, just a nice wind up all the way into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring your arms overhead, looking up, and come all the way to the floor. 
Then into our child's pose transition. Hips toward your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Bring your knees together and stretch your back if you like, or separate them and breathe more easily. Always your choice. And then inhale, sit up, and bring yourself all the way around into back position. Press out through your heels, knees up, toes up, and shoulders down. With the core supporting you, so remember, ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders down. Sit the bones a little behind you, and breathe. Now bring your arms out and reach them right over shoulder level, above your shoulders. And then sink down with your hands to your shoulders and stretch up. Exhale and sink. Inhale and stretch. And as you exhale, chest and chin knee towards your knees, reach for your feet or your legs. Push your sitting bones a little further back. <clears throat> Pivot right there at the top of your thighs at that hip joint. And relax. So the crown is reaching towards your toes or up toward the ceiling, and you're not tucking your forehead down towards your knees. Just a nice pivot. And then bring your arms next to your ears, stretch a little bit further forward, and then come on back up and release. Take a moment and breathe. And then we're gonna come up on our knees. So sink your hips back on your heels as much as feels good for you. You can stay there or you can come up and tuck your toes under so that you're gonna stretch on your toes and then sit back on your heels. And we're gonna work our arms. So you can either be up on your toes or you can be just with your feet flat if the toes get overworked in that position. It tends to be a little uncomfortable. So sitting down toward onto your heels and shoulders relaxed down, bring one arm out, and then take your other hand and pull that hand back towards you. So you get a stretch across the wrist. And then pull the fingers back the other way and get a stretch on the other side of the wrist. Palm pressing in, elbows straight. And then spread your fingers flat parallel to the floor. And push each one down. And then when you've done all of them, pull them back just a little so you get a stretch across the palm. And when you've done all of them, spread it out again. Spread your fingers wide, 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 wide. And then shake it all out and feel the circulation. So if you're up on your toes and you need a little relief, Bring your toes up off the floor and kind of crunch them together. Get them moving a little bit. And then put them back down if you want to, or go flat. Always a choice. And we'll do the other arm. So again, hips on your heels, hand comes out, palm down, elbows straight, and use that other hand to give it back of the wrist stretch. And then pulling your hand back, palm out. With the other side of the wrist getting a good stretch through the whole arm working. And then hand flat and push each finger down. And then drawing the fingers back the other way. And when you finish them all, spread those fingers apart and really give them a good stretch. And shake it out. And release. Feel those shoulders, arms, and hands. And again, coming up, releasing those feet and just thinking onto your heels with those feet flat. Or if that's uncomfortable, you can come into a cross leg position or back into staff position with those legs back in front. So we're going to work the neck next. So bring your chin into that notch at the base of your throat, jugular notch. And let the back of your neck get a nice gentle stretch. 
Shoulders relaxed, keep that core active, supporting your spine. And then bring one hand and then the other up to the back of your head. Just add a little weight with those hands. Don't push, you don't want to overdo any stretch to the neck. Just gently. Take a few breaths there. Just let the back of the neck get a good gentle stretch. And then releasing your hands back down. Keep your chin back upright. And then lift it towards the ceiling, but keep stretching through the back of your neck at the base of the skull. So you're lifting your whole skull as you look over here. And then move your jaw around, side to side, front to back, however it feels good today. And squeeze your face. And then release your face to neutral, your jaw to neutral, and tip your head back upright. Keep your shoulders relaxed, core active, and then tip one ear over to the side. No twisting on this one. And then bring the side, you're tipping toward hand up. And again, weight, not pressure, just giving a little extra stretch along the side. If that's good and you want more, you can bring the fingertips or palm down on your other hand. So maximize or minimize whatever's good for your shoulder, your neck. Remember personal practice. And then the hands release. And you tip your head back up and feel the difference. Because remember, that's your yoga, noticing what's going on. And we're going to balance because that's what we do in yoga as well. So take the other ear over toward the shoulder just gently. And then bring that hand you're tipping toward up a little. Extra weight, not pressure. And if you love it and want more, fingertips or hand down and get a little extra stretch along that side. Always personal practice, do what's right for you and your body. And then bring the hands back to your lap and tip your head back upright. Feel what's going on across the shoulders through the neck. Sitting bones down. Spine supported with that core. Stretch your spine up, especially through the neck because we're gonna twist the neck only. So keep your hips and shoulders facing the front and turn your chin toward one side, looking at that, backing out of the driveway position. Take a breath, stretch your spine, exhale, and just allow that twist as far as you'd like it to be. With a breath in, keep stretching up and exhale, turning the chin back to the center. And of course, we're going to turn to the other side next. <clears throat> so spine activated, core is activated, supporting your spine. Spine is stretching apart and exhaling, turning your chin to look for the other shoulder. Take a moment and breathe. Keep stretching the spine apart. Exhaling, only twisting through the neck this time. Shoulders still facing the front. And then again, turning your chin back to the center. Just feel your whole neck area a little more activated. And then we're going to slide off our knees. We're going to move the front to the front. And again, <coughs> into staff position. Sitting bones a little behind you. <clears throat> so we're going to work the toes a little bit more. So if you go ahead and bring your feet in, however it's comfortable, either butterfly or just a nice little cross leg position, whatever feels good for you. And then we're going to massage the toes and the base of the toes and the arches and the ankles and those. Achilles tendon area and the top of your ankle and the arch, and get a good rub down going through your whole foot. You can bring the foot up off the floor and kind of circle it around a few times, also, if that's something that you would feel comfortable doing. And then release that foot and spread the toes out. Just get them all activated. You tend to forget that the toes and feet are really an essential part of yoga. And then 
any staff can and work on the nuts. So go ahead and allow your base of the toes to get a good rub down, the toes themselves, arches on the top and on the arch itself, ankle, both parts of it, front and back, Achilles tendon, heel itself. Just give a good rub to all the parts of your foot. Right. Feel some nice big massage and bring it down and spread the toes apart. See how they're working today. And release back. And then lifting your knees, bring your legs back out into staff position. Just take a moment feeling how those feet are working and how massage they feel. Take a moment to breathe, really press out through the heels and pull back with the toes. Feel those ankles and backs of your legs get a good stretch. And then we're going to keep the feet at the end of the mat and use your core just to roll down slowly onto the floor into corpse position. Just a little reclined integration. Take a moment there, breathe in. And just let your body release, shoulders down, and chin and jaw relax. Belly moving as you breathe. Exhale, tension. And then sitting bones toward your heels. Bend your knees and bring your heels up next to your hips, feet flat. Press your back down. And just gently, we're going to work that low back and abs area a little bit. So pressing down and then lifting your ribs and belly up as you tuck the sitting bones toward the floor. So arch from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones, giving the space under your back. And then pressing it down just as much as feels okay today. And then arching up. So this is going to strengthen that low back, which is essential for support across that abdominal area and through those fronts of your thighs. So go ahead and work as much into the arch and as much into the pressing down as your body feels like it wants to do. Just gently, it doesn't have to be extreme. This is really good for strengthening your back. Take a few moments to breathe and relax. And then coming back to your neutral spine, shoulders down, feet spreading apart, knees straight up toward the ceiling. So remember, a little rolling at the top of your thighs, but keep those knees up, not spreading apart. Press your whole spine down toward the floor. And then lift one leg up, flex the heel, and press it toward the seat. And then keeping that leg as straight as you feel is good for you, just slowly bring that leg down. Come on, I touch it, bend your knee, and bring that heel back in. And again, take a moment to arch and press. Arch and press. And then the next time you're pressing down, bring that other leg up. Or again, straight to the heel, flexing your heel, giving that back, pressing down. And then slowly with that heel leading, lower that leg toward the floor. And again, whenever it touches, just relax and bend your knee. And bring the heel back in. Both feet flat, both knees up. Press down and arch up a few times again, just activating that spine, working to maybe turn that core a little bit and strengthen your lower back. Take a few breaths as you do it. And then pressing everything down, bring both feet off the floor. And one of the time or both together, you lift the feet up straight and flex your heels. But again, just press your back down, keep the heels flexed, keep the knees as straight as you can. You can keep the hands at your side or bring them to T position to need a little more upper body stability 
and then we're going to lower it because he is leading using the core for a little support as you bring those legs lower over to the floor. And when we get down, just take a moment to breathe and relax. Let the belly soften. And again, rest the back down, sitting bones towards your heels, bend your knees, bring your heels in, deep breath. And then arms out to two position for our twist. So either palms up or palms down, keep those shoulders nice and stable, shoulder blades on the floor, and breathe. Rest your spine down. With that whole lower back connected, and then bring your knees in right above your hips and your feet up off the floor. So, we're going to do our regular bent knee twist, bringing the knees to one side and turning your head to the opposite side. Shoulders staying down, just giving a nice gentle twist through that lower back and through the neck, only as much as your body would like today. At the moment, and breathe. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. And straighten things out if you need to. And then we're going to roll the knees to the opposite side. And turn your head to that bottom behind you. And we're going to spar almost gently into that twist with your knees bent as you go. Take a breath. Just do it. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, and bring your feet down to the floor and straighten things out. Now, we're going to do another twist. It's going to be similar, but we're going to keep the legs up and straight if you can. If that's not something you want to do, keep the knees bent, just like we just did, and do that same bent knee twist again. So press your back down, bring your feet up off the floor. And if you're going to do the straight leg version, bring your feet up towards the ceiling and press the heels. Palms down, shoulders down, press your back into the floor gently, and then let your legs come over to one side, or you again turn your head toward the opposite side and look at the arm behind you. Legs hovering just above the floor. Only go as far as your body wants. Those knees can go with your bent knee version only as far as they can go. And then either legs straight or bend those heels in towards your hips and bring the legs back up into your starting position. And again, either legs straight or bent, you're going to do the twist to the other side. And again, rolling over with those feet at level over to the side just above the floor as you turn your head and look toward that bone behind you if that works for you today. Otherwise, keep those knees bent. That's perfectly good as a twist as well. Take a breath. Maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice always, especially on twists. And then when you're ready, heels toward your hips or legs still straight. Bring them back up. And again, we're going to just bring those legs out. So you can either bend the knees or you can lower the legs using your course for support, coming back all the way down onto the floor. And moving into corpse position for a final relaxation. So hands, palms up, shoulders down, feet slightly apart, toes up toward the ceiling, and maybe a little out toward the side. Relax through the hips. Through the flexors, relax through the belly, soften the back, shoulders releasing. Whole body has been working today, even that neck and throat, jaw, everything. Just soften your face, your feet, everything from the tip of your toes to the top of your head. Just let everything soften your face. Take a few breaths. That's your attention. Just allow your body to sink into that surface beneath you, fully supported. Letting your body relax and grow heavy and sink deep into the open base. Relax everything deep into that surface and let awareness of your body go. 
As you release the thoughts of your body, your other thoughts will come to your mind. Remember always, it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, release thoughts of the past, forget thoughts of the future. Just focus inward, letting your breath be your guide, letting those thoughts flow away as easy as your breath. And as your body deepens and sinks and relaxes, allow thoughts of your body to release and thoughts of your mind to float away. And just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find the peace within and fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to peace. Of course, if you can keep relaxing longer today, feel free to stay relaxed as long as you have time. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin breathing more deeply, bring energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Give yourself a good stretch as you breathe. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting down towards your heels as you bend your knees and draw those heels in. Press your back down and bring the knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for your appreciative yoga hug. And let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release, head to the floor, feet to the mat. And we'll roll over to the side, spinning back up, and getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.